case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. In a pivotal ruling from 1988, the Supreme Court case Ling v. Northwest Indian Cemetery, Protective Asin, brought together three American Indian tribes and the United States Forest Service in a dispute revolving around religious freedom and necessary civic infrastructure. At the center of the tangle was a proposed road, part of a larger project, to be constructed through a national forest held sacred by the tribes. The Forest Service's project, however, clashed head-on with the deeply rooted religious practices of the tribes. A commissioned study revealed the undeniably sacred significance of the forest site to the tribes, and also threw into stark relief the unavoidable consequences of the road construction. It was unequivocal that the religious practices would suffer irreparable damage. Despite this, Justice O'Connor, penning the majority opinion, held that the First Amendment's Free Exercise Clause did not expressly prohibit the government from forging ahead with the proposed civic project. The decision tilted in favor of the government, underscoring the compelling state necessity behind the road construction, outweighing the protection of the tribe's religious practices. The case was eventually remanded back to the district court, with instructions to scrutinize the injunction under the fresh light of the Supreme Court's ruling. Although the Supreme Court acknowledged the necessity of protecting religious customs, it posited that competing constitutional interests created an inescapable conflict. This landmark decision underscored the limits of religious freedom when it intersects with public interest, and it bears significant implications in balancing citizens' rights, the construction of civic infrastructure, and the preservation of religious practices. Justice Kennedy had recused himself from this case. Case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. Visit LSD.law. Elevate your mind. Leave the stress of class.